Today I'm in the mood for a bit of a read. I wonder what I'm gonna read. Let me go swivel around my chair to go look at my shelves. Goosebumps. I haven't seen one of these in many a year. Goosebumps! It's books that you probably read when you were a kid. If you're like me, you definitely did. And you were really scared by them, most likely. But of course, eh, yeah, right, kind of scary. Maybe. This is the books. So, today, since uh, the books gave me a little idea, I will be redoing an episode I did Way back in 2018, yes, I did an episode on the Goosebumps TV show, but it never came out because I lost the footage for it. So, I thought, what other time would I possibly do, what, what other time would it possibly be to redo this? Now, of course, in the spooky times, of course. So today, we're going to be watching an episode of the original Goosebumps series. What episode will that be? Well, both speech. Why? I don't know. I don't know, I just kind of felt that one. That was the one I reacted to at the time. And yes, I know, I know, John Tron over there did, did a video on this, Goosebumps. But, um, I, it's, it's not a good episode, so that's why I'm gonna watch it. Let's go! Here we go. Time to go get your cereal. Get get ready for this. This is gonna be something. It's, it's an Oreo cereal. It's pretty good. Oh, good You will be way. You're in for a scare. I'm scared already. I'm horrified. I remember when this used to be on the Hub channel. I used to be scared a lot by Goosebumps when it was on the Hub channel. And now our masterpiece begins. Finally, the ghost speech has started. Where'd you go, Terry? And our first shot is literally one of the main characters of this story, Jerry, and he's looking for his sister, Terry. Oh man, you and your dumb hobbies. Wax rubbing. Who makes wax rubbing? I do, because I'm interested in things. Of course, just things. Just a broad amount of things. What could those things be? Who knows? It's just things. Let's go down to the beach. We finally get to visit Brad and Agatha, and all you want to do is rub gravestones all day. It's cool. See, Jerry? It's a death's head. An old Puritan symbol. Creepy, huh? Oh, God! Spooky skulls. Oh, that's what you saying about the Puritans, huh? So, what's going on here now? Oh, and that gravestone she was kind of cleaning is also the gravestone of her great relative, probably. Great relative? Is that how that, I don't know how that works. How does that work? So his bones are but dust. His spirit lives on forever. I don't like this very much. It's a bit spooky. And a bit too spooky, a little bit too spooky early on. What are you screaming for? It's just the local beach hag. Don't you know that? Come on, Terry. Just, just cut it out with that, huh? Get, 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 get out of here. <laughs> Best one ever. You gotta be pretty demented if you think that was funny. Ha! Sh it's just a prank, bro. Ha ha ha. Almost made you die of a heart attack over here. <laughs> We've been watching you guys. We could see you this morning, heading out for the graveyard. So we thought we'd give you a little scare. Just, um, we're, we're just gonna act like that's just a normal thing. Like that's just not creepy at all. We're just gonna act like that's okay. Eh. Eh. Alright. Okay. Little scare? Come on, Terry, let's go. Hey, we're sorry. 
We are. We're really sorry. It was just a joke. A pretty complicated joke. I guess it was. My name's Sam Sadler. This is my sister Louisa. And of course they are relatives because, I don't know, reasons. Reasons. Sadler? That's our last name. Really? Yeah. I'm Terry Sadler, and this is my brother, Jerry. We're staying with Brad and Agatha, our fourth cousins, twice remodeled. Removed, Jerry. Twice removed. I uh, we well, got going on over here. Rick and Morty dialogue, huh? So, 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 sounds like something uh, Rick, and, uh, Rick and Jared be talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about right now. I'm tired. I literally just woke up. Whatever that means. It means they're distant relatives. They're Sadlers, too. There's lots of Sadlers around here. <laughs> no kidding. Even dead ones. Harrison Sadler is dead, but he still walks the night. Alright, let's be honest. That went from like a, a one to like a hundred in like five seconds. Oh yeah, and then after that, it's just like, alright, see you later. GG. Wrap up next week. Bye. See you later. Farewell. Arrivederci. That, that's what they did. That's what they did. To go, we'll see you around. Oh god, it's a house! To give Jerry a little more of that. Oh, I sure will, Brad. Yeah. Everything tastes so much better cooked on that old wood burner. Ah, uh, ew. This is ew. No. Ew. Also, um, let's just state the obvious. Um, they're supposed to be cousins in the. They look like grandparents. That that was that that. It's been already said though. It's been already said on this platform before though. We met some other Saddlers today. Kids. A Sam and Louisa. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nice kids. Are they our relatives too? Could be. Very, very distant, if they are. They went on about some some ghost in a cave. <laughs> Never heard of it. Well, I got some reading to do. Oh, I'll help. Wow, totally not awkward at all. It's, um, it's a bit spooky. It's a bit spooky over there, huh? What is it? What's wrong? Oh my goodness! What's wrong over there? Look at that! Perfect skeleton! Of what? A raccoon, maybe. Too small for a raccoon. Do you guys always creep up on everyone? Sorry. Well, if it's not a raccoon, then what is it? Just a dog. A dog? What happened to it? It got eaten. Sam! Oh, come on. I mean, the bones are picked clean. What kind of animal would do something like this? I guess if you're going to be around here, you should know. It wasn't an animal that picked those bones clean. It was the ghost. The ghost of Harrison Sadler. Oh. Of course it was! Of course! No! You can't make this up, can you? Let's go. Oh, wait a second. Have you ever seen it? Do you see that opening in those rocks? You spin me right around, baby, right around, like a record, baby, right around, round, round. It's that's what just happened right there. The ghost lives up there. So then they go up there, they meet a guy, he's not a ghost, and then uh, kind of go around and then, well, gotta get around to this part. How did you get away? He let us go. He said he's not a ghost. He told us to come here to look for something. To look for what? Your gravestones. That ghost is clever. Making you think we're the ghosts. One real, that's one real clever ghost up there telling, uh, telling you guys that we're the ghosts? What? What? Get, get, get out of here with that nonsense, huh? It's, it's, what? And you believe it. You do. I can tell by your faces. If you're not ghosts, then where did these come from? Our ancestors. We just got named after them, that's all. Duh, obviously. Duh. Now we're going to show you something. This is why we were looking for you. Your lives are in danger. So what do you think we should do? Get rid of the ghost. Stop his evil once and for all. How are we supposed to do that? Seal him up in his cave with rocks. Because everybody knows ghosts can't get through rocks. Because everybody knows the ghost can't get through a rock. 
<laughs> it's a known fact. <laughs> also, uh, by the way, here's um, here's your gravestones. Um, the ghost, the ghost trying to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> so then, more messing around happens, and then we get to the end. And then, of course, we find out something—a plot twist. You've done well bringing the ghosts to me. Ghosts? Us? You're the ghost! Jerry, the rocks! You've terrified people long enough. Liar! Liar! And I get like that one Spider-Man meme, you know the pointing? That is that one. It's starting to get like that one. Guess what? They're ghosts. That's the whole big reveal. We never had a chance to live. The first winter. It wasn't fair. We never had a life at all. We all died in the cold. Hungry. We were so hungry. Oh, now the ghosts are trapped in the rocks. Oh, now we're all done with this. Jerry, next time you see me sleeping, don't wake me up. Now, we head back to the house for a last surprise. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know, I was trying to be all spooky. Good dog. Yep. Yep. Early for breakfast. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry, why don't you kids go and set the table while Agatha gets busy in the kitchen? <laughs> don't say you're not hungry. They're ghosts. Everybody's a ghost. Everyone's ghosts. That's the big thing in the end. Everyone's ghosts. That's a ghost. This is a ghost. This book is a ghost. Everybody knows the old John Tron bits. Everyone's ghosts. Of course. Well, at least I'm not a ghost. I mean, we at least know that. Right? <laughs>